my state, Imo State of Nigeria, has a population of over 5 million people. And the chunk of the population is young people, talented young people. We have a lot of sports, um, people are excited in sports, and also talent and energies in football, soccer, you know, as, as the case may be. So I've been thinking, uh, in my policy statement, before coming for um, this meeting, um, I had already started thinking on how, you know, I can create, you know, sports, investment in sports, you know, as a key um, uh, economic driver for my state, precisely. How we can export um, sports and talent to other parts of the world. And also how I would, I would like to set up the Premier League, specifically to develop more talent, you know, within um, the states. I also talked about choosing 20 key sports that I would, you know, bring professionals from all over the world to invest, you know, so that young people can grow from very early ages, they can start growing, and then I can also teach them leadership capital. So if you merge talent plus leadership capital and then huge investment around it, basically what you're saying is that, you know, a lot of people are going to come out of poverty, a lot of young people will find opportunities for themselves, and a lot of young people will make a difference, will make names for themselves. And at the end of the day, for me, I think that the talent that is to be, is to be invested in my state is enormous. So it is on the basis of that, that when I came into this conference, and Ujuri you know, was talking about you know, um, sports as a business. For me, I have already been captured about agriculture as a business. But sports as a business, at this point in time, you know, went to another level. And so I am hungry to leave a legacy around that particular, you know, sector. So it's a major part of my program. And I go, as I go back to Nigeria right now, I will discuss it across Imo in all of my political gathering, that one of the ways that we can grow my state, grow those young people, get them out of poverty, and also create opportunities for them is to ensure that as many as possible that are gifted, talented, you know, in sports, in football, whatever the case may be, we will find them wherever they are, and we will start very early, you know, as as they are, you know, from their um, teenage teenage ages, even from birth. How can we create programs that can identify them so that at the end of the day, before they get to become teenagers, they are already doing what they love to do. They are already doing the kind of sports they love to. And at the end of the day, they can you know, be fulfilled in their lives that they are making a difference. The greatest investment anybody can think of is investment in human capital. And for me, sports is part of that major investment. And I buy into it and I, I'm committed to it. When I become the governor of my state, precisely, um, when I become the governor of Imo State, you know, uh, sports development as a business will be a major part of my policy trusts.